Okay, this is my 2015 Suzuki King Quad from Copart. This came out of New York State. A friend of mine up in New York owed me some money. He knew I was looking for a four-wheeler, primarily for the power plant and rear end. And uh, this one here showed up. So I got this for basically a loan uh, that my friend owed me. So the loan's paid off now and in trade I got the four-wheeler. So like I said, it's a 2015. It's enhanced so it does not run. We don't know really what's going on with it. Also, no odometer. Um, the wiring has been disconnected a bit down here. So I do have the plastics. The plastics were off of it as well. I don't know if it's a theft recovery or what the deal is, but it is enhanced. So um, we're gonna go from it from there, uh, try and get it running. But I do have the key and unfortunately, there's a, other issues with the title. Um, it can't it can't be uh, put back on the road. So this one here will be a perfect candidate for what I do want it for. Um, we're going to be breeding a four wheeler and a uh, um, sorry golf cart. So if a four wheeler and a golf cart had a baby, that's basically what I'm building. Um, I know originally said a friend of mine. Of, Get it for a loan, but I got it for a loan, but uh, this actually did come from Copart, so it's a uh, my first Copart vehicle per se, and it came from the States. So, luckily, they were able to get it over the border um, before um, a lot of the borders closed down. But I think our border is still open between Canada and the U.S. I know it's more international borders are closed, which they should have been closed weeks ago, but that's a whole another video, that's a whole another story. But anyways, we're going to do some uh, diagnostic on this. I did put power to it last night. It does turn over. Um, I couldn't get anything to come up on the display right here. So I don't even know how many miles it has. But like I said, I also last night when I was looking, this is the starter relay solenoid. It's completely disconnected. Luckily, the uh, wires are here. The nuts are all here. So I got to put that back together. This is the computer. I've heard these are known for going bad. So it could be the computer. Also, there is a fuel pump on here, so it could very well be the fuel pump. So we're gonna go from there, do some testing, see if it has spark. See if, spray some carburetor cleaner in it. See if it will kick over. I know you're not supposed to put uh, ether in these. So spray a little bit of carburetor cleaner in it, crank it and uh, see what happens. The fuel that's in the tank is rancid. It's really, really bad. I will not be draining it in the garage here. I will be pushing this either out front or out back, draining the fuel. Also, the vent tube line is pretty crusty. It's pretty hard. It might hook back up now, but the um, tank is absolutely, absolutely rancid. So, but yeah, it, like I said, it does turn over. It has compression. Other than that, I don't know what's really going on. When it was turning over, the display was kind of starting to flash a bit. So the, um, I would assume the, cylinder, uh, the ignition is working. Uh, I was trying to put power back into the system and it was just as it was pulsing, I was getting something coming up on the display, but it wasn't going nearly enough to actually do anything. So I'm gonna get some of this wiring taken care of and we'll go from there. So stay tuned for the next video. We'll be uh, turning this machine on hopefully, and uh, seeing what it has for miles. Tires are halfway decent. They are worn. Um, obviously this machine was driven on the road. So the tires are worn, but um, they are all here. They're, they're, they're cheapy rims, unfortunately. Nothing like the uh, Polaris was, but um, all four tires are here. Like I said, I do have the plastics. Plastics are in decent shape. I do have the seat as well. So everything is here, it's all in decent condition. It's just a matter of um, figuring out what I'm gonna do with this. Like I said, it can't really be resold too easily. It can't be re-registered um, without a lot of work and it would, really would not be worthwhile. I don't know what the full situ situation was with it, but I know it uh, was sold as a salvage title. So I don't know how that, that would necessarily work with these to re-register them. 
So I don't know why it was salvaged. Or if was it salvaged and somebody fixed it and then put it to the auction. I really don't know. So that's where we're at right now on this. So here is my uh, 2015 King Quad. First view. Slow talking later. Please keep your neck like always and uh, please try and comment.